going on guys? This is Matei with Tech Vitamins and today I want to take a look at another pretty cool gadget that I got and this one happens to be the EVGA UV Plus 39. Now what this is, is the easiest way to get three monitors or four or five or six up and running without having to go SLI. Now I do um, in my rig, which you can also see how we build it and what it has inside of it on our channel, but um, I have the GTX uh, 560 Ti uh, EVGA graphics card, so I could have easily got another one, you know, for another monitor, but I didn't necessarily need that for what I'm doing. I'm mainly doing music production, and if I do uh, any video editing, I got the two screens that are hooked up to the original card, that's plenty for that, but I wanted to get a third screen for my Pro Tools setup, so for a little while I thought I was going to have to dish out another, you know, $250 for another SLI card. Because after doing some research, they were saying it has to be the same type of card if you do an SLI. You know, I mean, the one that I have is two gigabytes of memory, and it could have been one gigabyte, which would have made it a little bit cheaper. But I couldn't have, I couldn't have gone with like a much cheaper EVGA card for SLI. Apparently, that wouldn't have worked. So I picked up one of these, and this is a quick little box that, according to their specs, has lossless uh, compression of video. Um, it's USB powered and you see it comes with uh, USB 3.0 right here and it has a HDMI in for your additional monitor or a DVI input as well so you can go many different ways and it has a nice sleek design you see how small it is by <laughs> seeing my hands next to it and then looking at the keyboard right here to the left and apparently you can stack a bunch of these up they have like a little magnetic design so they stay on top of each other doesn't cause any interference and again you can go up to six monitors i believe and this thing only runs for um like eighty dollars you can get it from newegg you can get it directly from evga's website from many different places and again i mean this was the quickest way to get a third screen um it supports uh resolutions all the way up to let's see i believe yeah all the way up to tw uh 2048 by 1152 which is definitely decent I didn't need to go anywhere above 1920 by 1080 which is the third uh, monitor that I'm running um, but if you want to real quickly see here's the box again very sleek packaging just really comes with the USB 3.0 cable and that's it now um, keep in mind that the USB 3.0 cable that this thing comes with is very short so you may want to get another one um, to plug it into your computer depending on where your monitor sits and how you want it set up um, and it, you know also remember that this does work with uh, USB 2.0 so you know not much to say about this I mean the, the video quality is not that great but again you know you got to remember the purpose this is not for video games so I'm not running movies on this or video games or doing any crazy video editing or processing this was simply to get a third screen for Pro Tools and it's perfect let me show you real quick what that looks like so here it is, here's my setup, uh, you see I'm running three monitors, two 23 inch uh, Acers, LED uh, monitors, and then, then the one at the top is the RCA, like I mentioned. Um, so, you know, there it is, very quick and cheap way to put up a third monitor. Now, the two advantage, disadvantages that I found is that it will not turn on that TV or a third monitor automatically. Uh, meaning that you know when it's plugged in you turn off your computer then you turn it back on it will not turn that monitor on uh, Together with the computer like my two that are connected to the uh, Video card so you got to turn it on and off separately each time um, It is plug-and-play however um, very easy installation at least on Windows 7 uh, Just plugged it in through USB it recognized it it got the driver the latest driver from uh, um, from the web and it was pretty much up and running it was simple as that which also brings me to my other disadvantage is that i don't think this works on apple currently i've read um in some forums that it has people have not been able to get it to work with uh, mac os um you know even on the evgs website is specified that it's for windows the drivers currently only work for windows but hopefully they'll get it working pretty soon for Apple or, you know, as I'm making this video, it already may be uh, working on it, especially with the new Mountain Lion uh, OS coming out. So again, if you got any questions about uh, this little box, 
uh, feel free to post your comments into the comment section. Uh, feel free to give us thumbs up if you like the content we're providing so far. And, you know, any questions, I will see you guys next time and hope you, uh, you all enjoy this video. Peace.